Got another set of questions for the organic nitrogen compounds playlist. And the topics covered on this one are amides, nitriles and amino acids. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try them first. Okay, so the first question, we've got to establish which of the compounds A to D is the secondary amide. So here I've got the generic formula of a secondary amide. So we need a C double bond O bonded to an N with one R group, one carbon group attached. So that means the nitrogen's got two carbon groups bonded effectively, making it secondary. So what's A? Well, it is an amine. It's a secondary amine, actually, because the nitrogen is bonded to two carbon groups. The C double bond O is actually part of a carboxylic acid group. So it's not A. It's not B either, because B is a tertiary amine. So the nitrogen's bonded to three carbon groups carboxylic acid group separate. What about C? Well, C has got this feature in it. So you've got your C double bond O bonded to your N, bonded to your carbon group. So C was the answer. We'll just do D for revision purposes. D is a tertiary amide. Moving on to the next question, you can see I've already highlighted a couple of key absorptions. So we've got the OH of an alcohol. We've got the C triple bond N, so this is a nitrile group. I've also mentioned that we've got nothing at around about the 1700 mark, so there's no C double bond O. So what kind of compound is going to give us this spectrum? It's B. So this is a hydroxy nitrile. Obviously it's got the OH of an alcohol and the CN of the nitrile group. Next question, we're going to draw the 3D diagrams for the optical isomers of cysteine. So I've already drawn up two blank tetrahedron and made them mirror images of each other. So the first thing I'll do is put the general groups on. So there they are there, and you'll notice I've left the wedge blank because we're going to put the R group for cysteine on there. So there's the answer there. Moving on to part B, so we've now got a different alpha amino acid, we've got lysine, so the R groups like this. I've not drawn this in 3D because it hasn't asked us to do that. What we've got to do is draw the structure of the salt formed when this reacts with an excess of dilute hydrochloric acid. So remember it's the amino group that can react with an acid, can accept the H plus from the acid and become an ammonium ion. So because we've got an excessive dilute hydrochloric acid, we can do that to both NH2 groups. But it specifically asks for the salt, so we need to put the chloride ion in as well. So the answer is that. If you haven't put the charges in, that's fine. NH3Cl is okay. And finally, part C, we've got this section of protein. The dotted lines here just show that this thing repeats. So it's hydrolyzed with um, hot aqueous sodium hydroxide. So the bonds that are going to break are all the amide bonds or the peptide bonds, we should call them, um, if it's a protein. Remember the peptide bond is the C double bond O to the N. So we've got one there. We've got one here. And obviously where the repeat is, there would be an NH here. So obviously that's going to break likewise there. So the first structure is going to be for this part here. So this NH becomes an NH2 group and the C double bond O becomes a C double bond O single bond O N A. And you can see I've put the charges in, but you don't have to. And the other structure we need to draw is for this part here. So again, the NH becomes an NH2. The C double bond O becomes a C double bond O, single bond O, Na. Again, you don't have to show the charges, but I have. And then this is all the same. And then we get another one of these COO Na groups here. And if you're interested, that NH2 is going to become um, an NH3, an ammonia molecule, but it only asks for the organic products. So I haven't drawn that.